Hi, I'm Spell and welcome to this lovely country that is Scotland. Of course, welcome to the channel too. We are at Ben Lowers. Uh, we are doing a ride today. It is about, I think in total about 200 miles or so, give or take. Beautiful weather, as you can see here, barely a cloud in the sky. It is about 24 degrees or so. And uh, wow, breathtaking. It is one of those days that is simply amazing to live in this country. It would be awesome if it was always like that uh, during the winter. Anyway, as you can see here on the side, there's uh, quite a long ride and I'm uh, splitting this in uh, two sections, I'm afraid. So the first part of the video will be up here to the Ben Lowers Dam and then the next episode will be going on to Kaelin Calendar and all that. So without further ado, let's ride uh, because Spell is waiting for us. I think that the GoPro didn't record anything. Um, don't know what happened. We finished uh, the motorway. I had to um, to come over the, on the motorway M90 or whatever it was across the bridge. And yes, the weather today is awesome. It's meant to be like this. Okay, you're gonna see not a single cloud in the sky for the entire day. Temperature was of about 20 something degrees. So that should be absolutely awesome. It's not every day that you see Scotland with uh, such a nice weather. It's, uh, it's simply paradise. I mean, I, I keep telling you over and over again, if you are lucky to get the weather, it is difficult to beat this country. Absolutely cracking roads, cracking views, man. It's, it is just perfect. It's perfect. So, and today we are living that dream. We are living the dream of Scotland being the perfect country to ride the motorcycle. And uh, today is the day. Absolutely. It will be a nice ride uh, up to where Spell is. Uh, thank you, Spell, for doing the introduction and all that. <laughs> we uh, left the motorway at Kelty. We are gonna go up to Cleef via the Glen Eagles and things like that. We passed uh, the Knock Hill uh, racetrack, very famous here in uh, here in Scotland. Everyone that likes to race, they go there. I think they do track days and things like that too. So, you know, I'm not a guy to uh, to ride fast. Uh, speed is not what uh, really uh, pushes me to uh, to ride. I'm much more uh, a rider that likes to come here, enjoy some uh, nice views, sceneries and the road, of course, but uh, always within speed limits, uh, within reason. Of course, sometimes I like to uh, open the throttle a bit more, but as you know, that lasts for about 10 seconds and uh, that's me done back to 30 miles an hour, pretty much. That's uh, what I like to do. But anyway, I'll do my best trying to show you the best, uh, the best parts of uh, this um, ride today. And uh, well, I'm sure there will be lots of uh, awesome views and uh, and uh, sections of roads and things like that for me to show you. Probably more than what uh, uh, I know what what, uh, what time remaining I have on the SD card to show you. Uh, and I have like about two hours there, but you know you record p pieces here, pieces there, and then when you uh, realize. You are running out of space. That's what happens very often. And uh, today I forgot to bring an extra SD card just in case. I need to be mindful of uh, what uh, I do or what I record today. All right, here we are at uh, Rumbling Bridge. I love this uh, this uh, small old places. It has like some um, special magic. You are watching this video, if not, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, see everyone enjoying the sun. 
and uh, we are too but anyway as i was saying we are you are watching this video in uh october if i'm not mistaken i love this we uh, like houses cultures like that it's awesome but i was a bit tired today i wanted to come riding but at the same time i was like oh i'm so damn tired but uh you know what i convinced myself i mean come on it's such a lovely day probably not be able to have another day like this anytime soon it's bloody scotland it's a heat wave and it happens once a year <laughs> you know that's uh now or never pretty much and uh you know what so i forced myself to uh to come out and the truth is as soon as you get on the bike oh man you you don't feel tired anymore it's, it's such uh i don't know it it really makes me feel alive and uh all i want now is to enjoy this uh, awesome views that i have no doubt ahead of me and we are seeing some nice views already so okay no cars let's go go gonna go to cleef But yeah, I think I did, I did good and tried to convince me to uh, to come out and uh, you know just enjoy the nice weather, nice roads. I know if I just stayed at home, I would regret that. Did I tell you I have new tires as well? So I got the Pirelli Angel GT. Um, the stock tires lasted me about uh, 7600 miles something like that so i got these ones now and it is such a big difference you know i have that uh i don't know first uh 200 miles or so they need to take uh, a bit more care of the way you ride and all that uh but from the get-go the tires felt much, much better than the stock ones. Abs oh man, that, there is it's like a day and night difference, absolutely. We have a loch here on the side. I have no idea what uh, this loch is. Glen Devon, please drive carefully. I always ride carefully, my friend, always. We. Okay, thirsty zone. See, so I barely touched the brakes with uh, such a nice engine braking. Oh, nice! It's strong, and I like it. To be fair, woohoo, man! This is awesome. This transition from, I uh, you know, uh, full sun. Oh, that's nice. Just like sun right here to then uh, being. Oh, like in the shade with all the trees the shadows and all that is just perfect look at this already we are at Glen Devon and uh, oh this is awesome this is really really awesome and you know what because of the lockdown my English went downhill uh, absolutely downhill I feel it like whenever I come to I go to work now I struggle uh, a bit more to uh, you know uh, to speak to speak English man <laughs> look at this I love you Scotland this is awesome man this is freaking awesome and I tell you, I really want to do the North Coast 500 today. I need to to bother some some people I know that ride motorcycle to see if someone wants to come with me because you know it will be a better experience if you are riding with uh, with someone else rather than uh, just you. Because sometimes I I feel a bit bored when I just have to ride by myself 99% of the time. I haven't been on a bike with anyone else this year yet it was just me and Lilith that's it yesterday I went riding with my girlfriend as a pillion but uh, yeah 
that was it I, I I'm not riding with with uh, anyone at the moment either uh, all right so we keep going all the way to Cliff on a 8 2 2 first sure tourist route to pit Lockley. yeah pit Lockley is awesome uh, we are not gonna go up to pit Lockley, but to be close anyway actually the plan for today I tell you, the plan for today was how I was meant to do the um, heart 200 route uh, but because it took me so long to convince me to uh, leave the house I ended up not having time to do it, everything because it would be almost 300 miles and I want to do it not rushing uh, okay so thank you hey wait is here for me that was very very nice of him but yeah this a 822 is uh, a fine piece of road is a beautiful piece of road actually I remember doing it uh, last year there's some nice uh, old cottages and the uh, old houses around uh, these roads I would love to uh, to leave in uh, to live in one of those would be perfect although it would be a bit too far away from Mandibada airport so I will have to change my uh, my job well apparently there's some nice turns uh, here so I was like ah, I have to record this Way. But of course with uh, traffic is not uh, that fun also. But anyway, I'd never really uh, go mental. So it's uh, it's fine. And if I wanted to race, I'll do it on the track where I'll not put uh, the life of ours at risk. And even mine, I mean, it would be much, it is much safer to, uh, to go wild on, uh, on a track than what it is to go wild here on the road. Okay, Aberfeldy, we have to turn here. There you go, we did that in one go, awesome. Oh man, nice. Is this a nice road? I hope it is. Oh, Chainsaw Massacre! <laughs> no, that would be for Halloween. Ah, I've never been through here. That's I think that's official. Or maybe maybe I have. Wait. Uh, I can't remember. I think I think I've done this road. I'm not entirely sure which road is this. Oh, it's still the A822. So probably I've done this already. Yeah, this is so opponent, man. I love it. <laughs> what the hell? Right, I don't know what's happening. The GoPro, I press record and then it stops recording i look at it and i see like the light blinking there and it's not blinking anymore we left the road just there that we we're going go gonna go all the way to Aberfeldy. uh but instead now we turn to this side to go to kenmore uh, it's a single track road so it's the kind of road i want or oh, i like you guys know i absolutely love this uh, so yeah, so you can relax a bit more through this one.
Oof. It's packed, so I don't think I'll be stopping here to eat. If the times were different, no COVID and all that, I would stop there to eat. But uh, no, I had that scare uh, with uh, with my friend that tested positive after being like together, having dinner and playing cards and all that. Uh, I don't really fancy being. Uh, amongst that many people anyway so I guess we're gonna go through this road for 12 miles or so I don't know if I should stop in the meantime or if I just stop or if I should stop uh, at the dam we'll see but for now let's enjoy the road a bit more This is awesome, see if you can see from this part, there you go, a loch right here, oh man, beautiful, I love, I love to ride around this area, it's just so nice. We are a bit uh, high now on the side of the hill. But, uh, well, that gives us a nice uh, perspective over the loch. Simply awesome. Now, hopefully it will not be too bad because I've had enough of uh, tight turns and uh, steep climbs I'm okay with uh, with turns that are tight I'm just not okay when they are going up hey, hey Ben Lowers oh what a view guys what a fantastic view ah yeah so that's the the tightest turn maybe that I have here but again, because it's not on a steep climb and it's not that tight anyway. I mean, yeah, it's a nice, it's just a nice wee turn. Oh, I hope you are seeing this. I'm glad. I'm glad. I uh, decided to come, come up here. Uh, where's the dam? Did I pass the dam? Maybe I did, maybe I did not. This is such an amazing place. So as soon as we get there, gonna sit down and eat something. <laughs> I hope you are recording this, your bloody GoPro, because this view is simply amazing. Wow! Aha! There's a dam. Okay. 
and the road surface is very bad here. <laughs> Look at that view, man. Wow. Simply wow. Oh, we're gonna go in the middle of uh, the middle of those rocks here. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what the hell? What a dream of a place. Uh, yeah, I'm not enjoying the heights that much there. So let's try not to look down. Okay, so I can park. Uh, I can park here then. So we are here at the Ben Lowers Dam and uh, been riding for about three hours. So I'm starving. I have some uh, tuna. I had nothing else. Tuna. And I boiled some eggs and uh, I have like peanuts and uh, some other nuts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sit down here. Uh, just enjoy this awesome view, as you can see. Uh, oh, and here behind, see how impressive is this. Man, this is like something else it's stunning it is simply stunning yeah so i'm gonna eat something relax a bit because i've been riding for uh for a long long time and uh from here then we'll be uh going home um but uh, before that let's eat right everyone it it is a bit windy uh so i'm not entirely sure if you are uh gonna be able to uh, hear me properly or not and I'm also uh, recording this on uh, on a mobile phone I am here sat down on a nice rock uh, overlooking uh, the dam so it's quite a nice view and the bike is uh, up there uh, you can't even see it but the bike is up there uh, so yeah I left the GoPro on the helmet and all that this is such a quiet place I mean there's no one here anyway um yeah I'm eating tuna, a can of tuna, can you believe this, like seriously, and some boiled eggs I have there, and uh, well that, uh, that will do me I guess, uh, with some uh, strawberries and some uh, nuts and all, uh, and all the, the good stuff, I do have a bag here for the rubbish, so I'm not one of those that come here and enjoy the nice uh, scenery and then leave all the rubbish uh, 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 behind, no I take a bag and uh, I'll uh, be taking the rubbish with me back home and um, well I guess I'll not uh, make you guys uh, wait much longer uh, because now all I have to say is uh, pretty much that I hope you enjoyed the ride I'll hopefully uh, hopefully the GoPro did record the majority of things that I wanted to record because it starts to behave badly at some point uh, so hopefully everything like that I want to record was recorded and uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it uh, next week there will be another episode like going down now as I said to uh, Kaelin, Canada and all that all good places uh, and uh, yeah guys thank you very much for watching ride safe stay safe and I'll see you soon adios <laughs>